Would you like to learn how to grow a vlogging channel on YouTube? Well, stick around because I have a special guest who's going to give you some tips on doing just that. Hi and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier and I am here to help you build a foundation for YouTube success. So you'll want to build a vlogging channel. Well, like any channel, it's important to do your research and understand exactly what it's going to take to be successful. To help you with that, I brought in a very special guest today. His name is Dennis and his channel is called Driving Me Crazy. Now Dennis is an excellent resource and he has a lot of great videos over there on his channel, Driving Me Crazy, so be sure to head over there and check them out. Thanks, Dan. And hello, everyone out there. Thanks so much for watching. I want to take you through what I consider to be five important factors if you want to create a vlog style channel or vlog videos to complement the current content on your channel. The first thing I want you to consider doing is writing a mission statement. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be complicated. It can be one sentence. But take some time to sit down and think about what exactly is the focus and mission of this channel. I think that oftentimes folks that do vlog style videos will just pick up the camera, start talking, start walking around, and hoping that what they're saying about their day or their activity comes off as interesting. If you have a mission statement, this will give you a goal to work towards, or at the very least, a guiding principle of what you're really trying to accomplish. For my channel, I wrote the mission statement day one. My mission is to entertain people, to make them smile, and to make them think. Your mission statement might be more specific. Your mission statement can say what it is you want to accomplish, but I would caution you against writing a mission statement like, this video will get me to 250 subscribers. While that's certainly a goal, and a great goal to shoot for, and you're gonna do things to reach that goal, that's not the point of a mission statement. Second piece of advice I have for you when approaching a vlog is to know your limits. Right now, it's August, and apparently because August starts with an A, it's one of the two months in the year where people pick up the popular trend of Vita, vlog every day, August or vlog every day April, which I did earlier this year. And the reason I bring this to you as my number two suggestion when approaching a vlog video or vlog channel is I didn't know my limits. You can very quickly find yourself in over your head putting unnecessary and undue pressure on yourself to publish videos and completely lose sight of the quality of your content. Take some time and sit down in advance with the help of your mission statement to figure out what you really can put out there in terms of video uploads, balancing the amount of time that you have to create, edit, and promote, along with other things you may have in your life, like family, a job, school. Knowing your limits will really help you enjoy making your videos and feel more accomplished with each successful upload as opposed to just relieved. Number three thing I want you to think about is knowing your audience. Who exactly are you speaking to in your vlogs? Are you hoping that you're going to find people with similar lifestyles and interests as yourself? Are you hoping to cast a great big wide net and get anybody and everybody to look at you walking through your daily life? Having an idea of who your target audience or audiences are will help you craft videos that are specifically interesting to those particular groups. Casting a wide net is fine, but as many fans as someone like Casey Neistat has, not everybody wants to watch other people try to be Casey Neistat. The number four thing I want you to think about is practicing. This is something that I did not do enough of when I was starting my channel a little more than a year ago. If you've been making vlogs and videos for some time and you still find yourself, um, uh, you know, looking uh, for, um, you're clearly not practicing enough. In a lot of ways, doing vlogs on YouTube is no different than any other public speaking role. Some of us suffer from brains that move faster than our mouths and we end up tripping over our own words. If you have no mission statement and uh, you don't really know what you can handle, I'm uh, not sure who I'm really talking to and I'm just sort of walking around as I point the camera and, and I, I don't know what I got going on today, uh, but I guess I'll do something. Take some time and practice recording videos that you're not gonna show anyone, ever. Use those videos to teach yourself what you like and don't like about your own delivery. As a result, your delivery in the vlog will improve dramatically. 
Finally, the last piece of advice I have for you if you are considering setting up a vlog channel or doing vlog videos to complement your current content. As tempting as it can be to jump on trends to make nothing but the latest challenge videos, I really strongly urge you to try and innovate. Try and find a way to change the game for yourself. There's so many categories of video on YouTube, so many genres and subgenres. When it comes to vlogging, your goal has to be to set yourself apart from the crowd. That's it. Those are my five tips if you're considering a vlog style channel or vlog videos. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch and I will throw it back to you, Dan. Thanks, Dennis. That's a lot of great information. So let me know, are you considering starting a vlogging channel or maybe just adding some vlogging content to your existing channel? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. A special thanks to Dennis from Driving Me Crazy for providing that excellent information for us. If you would like to continue to build a foundation for YouTube success, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you've clicked that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. That's all the time we have for today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.